Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Avatar The Last Airbender, Season 3, Episode 5, called The Beach. And I am actually going to need my glasses for this. <laughs> because it happens to be only 2.30 outside, but it looks like it's about 6.30 because of the rain. So anyway, um, Zuko, Tylee, May, and Azula are on their way to Ember Island to stay with the um, I want to say Ty and Lee. Um, mm. Anyway, the two um, fire sages that train Azula, they're staying with them while uh, Fire Lord Ozai. Sorry about that. That was like the fire thing that goes off in our town whenever a fire happens and the fire department goes off. So, anyway. So, Ozai's having like a private meeting and didn't want Azula or Zuka there. So, um, they decide to go to Ember Island. So anyway, and uh, <laughs> so they're at the old twins um, shack pretty much compared to all the other mansions around. It's like a dingy little thing, but it's like not really dingy really. It's more homey looking, but anyway, they're going to go to the beach and um, <laughs> but before they do, I remember um, it was funny when they were going like who are these, like, um, Azula or Tylee asked, like, who are these two beautiful girls? And they're like, you don't recognize us? And it was them, and then they're talking about the beach, and then they got into this one trunks. And my little, little, little like, this to Zuka. <laughs> so I don't even. Then we cut to where Aang goes to, uh, goes on a water slide, and the Fire Nation see him and send a messenger hawk. Then Azula finds a spot that was actually being uh, used by a couple kids. She um, destroyed their sand castle. So anyway, they're sitting down and then Tylee is getting hit on by all the peoples. And the guy helps her unpack um, all of her stuff and literally stands in front of the sun to give her shade. And then, um, then we cut to where Azula is jealous. Then Mai and Zuka argue because... Zuko's trying to be, you know, a nice boyfriend and gives her, like, a shell. She's like, what I want this for? It's like, it's pretty. I thought girls like stuff that are pretty. It's like, if they're stupid, <laughs> like, I don't care. And then um, he throws it, and then um, another dude saw it and then saw Tylee and decided to give it to her. And of course, she loved it. And then we cut to, um, so Zuko tries again with, like, a ice cream or shaved ice or whatever. I don't know if they actually had ice cream, but anyway, it's like a cold, it was ice cream, pretty much, just in a cone. So anyway, and he actually dropped it on her, and she said, oh, great, this is so refreshing, so great. <laughs> then <laughs> we cut to where Azula gets them to play volleyball, or their version of volleyball, and they won, and Azula got kind of cray about it. She believes it. Okay, we're going to target that girl because she's got an injury, probably for something, and so we're going to keep attacking her, and they spiked that ball to the point it exploded on the opposite side. And then these two dudes saw it, and they invited them to a party, and I invited Tylee and May, and um, when Azula and Zuko kind of made a little bit of a scene about it, they invited them too, but they don't know who they are, so... Then, um, then we got to Azula, it's intrigued by it, and then a guy, um, intercepts a message, um, question man, and intercepted the hawk, and so they're gonna go, um, he's gonna go after them, so then we go to that, to the party, and they are crazy early, because Azula said, well, you sit from dusk till dawn, and it's dusk outside, and we're timely, so we're here. And, uh, he's like, okay. And Azula's really bad at flirting. That's probably the only really bad thing she's bad at. <laughs> and, um, because, um, it was just bad. She's like, she's like, you have to sharp. So sharp it could pierce the ship, <laughs> pierce the ship and drown thousands of people. There's a, like an actual like, really funny saying like, on TED Talk about that. I can't do them to a full impression, but... It was, it's funny. I really enjoyed that, but she was just so awkward. I didn't know she could be awkward, but that was, that was pretty freaking funny. So then, um, Azula, 
Let's see. Then, um, then because Rizuko is getting jealous at May, but she didn't do anything. It's just him being very insecure. Then um, Taylor's getting cornered and she KOs them because she can't handle it. And so Zula puts her down, then says sorry. And so Tylee teaches her tr how to flirt. And um, again, she's bad at it. She's like, because Tylee said, just laugh at everything they say and, you know, you know, just be a little bit nicer. And she tried the laughing and it was like, ha ha ha, you know, and, ha, 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 you know, like a regular laugh. It was like very overpowering. <laughs> then um, we cut to where she tries it and then Zuko and May bicker and then so she forced with the main party guests and they kiss out um, back or on the back porch or whatever. And they kiss and then Azula goes way overboard and it's like, we'll be the strongest Fire Nation couple in Fire Nation history. And the guy's like, this bitch is crazy. And he kind of left. So then um, we cut to where Zula goes overboard and like I said, he bolts. And then Zuko and May bicker some more because she was stuck into a guy and they fight and May eventually ends the relationship and Zuko pushes the guy into a vase. So the guy kicks him out and Zuko goes to his old family um, estate, pretty much. It was a huge house, y'all. Like, oh my god. Then we cut to where Toph warns the gang about a metal man coming and attacks them. And then we cut to where Azula talks to Zuko and takes him to the beach. Then Combustion Man goes after Aang, and, but they manage, the, he managed to escape. It was a really cool action scene. I really enjoyed that scene a lot. Then, um, let's see. Then Zuko um, burns the painting and argues that Tylee and Moxer calls her a circus freak. And then, um, basically she said, like, she didn't have her own identity and that's why she did join the circus. And she takes being a circus pick as a compliment because she is her own self and not part of a matching set. Then May goes off a little bit and then we found out that she was always told to be very prim and proper or she didn't get her way. And, you know, she just doesn't show emotion because if she did, she got shut down because they got to think of her dad's political career. Then we go around on Zuko on how he's angry at everybody. And he turns out after they pressured him, it's like, who you're angry with? Like, really, who are you angry with? Are you angry at me? Are you angry at your dad? Are you angry at your uncle? If I see it, he's angry at himself because he doesn't know right from wrong anymore. And he's just very confused. And then we go to Azula, who um, her mother called her a monster, <laughs> which is kind of accurate, to be honest. And um, she's like, she was right, of course, but it still hurt. <laughs> and then, um, so they kind of, it's kind of like what the one of the twins said is like, being here at Ember Island, it can change you. It'll rough out all the edges of this rock and make it smooth and you know, you know you'll be more together so it was like a good bonding experience for the most part but they did go in on each other as well but i think like they mostly worked it out then um so then uh, so they may cover sim and they're kind of back together and then Azuka, i mean then zula has another um plan and that's to destroy the party. And we end the episode with them having fun burning down the party. And that was the end of the episode. Really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I gave it an A plus just because I really enjoyed like it was a nice bonding experience that they had. And it was mocking and like there were some issues, but it wasn't bad or anything. But they worked it out and I thought it was kind of funny um episode. But it was also very serious too. I like when a show can do that doesn't matter if it's animated or real or whatever. As long as it's like there's a nice little balance of funny and serious. I really like that a lot. So anyway, really good episode. That's one do for this video. So like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, agree, disagree. Tell your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye everybody.